Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about the ECU logic operation in Mitsubishi Evo 8 and Evo 9s. So what we'll find, this is going to be how Mitsubishi has actually designed the ECU to think and work. So what we'll need to know is that there's going to be a fundamental equation underlining essentially how the ECU actually operates. That's going to be the fuel mass is equal to the air mass divided by the target air fuel. So we're introducing some terminology here that you might not be familiar with. So air mass, fuel mass, that's going to be something that is not commonly referred to uh, if you're talking about just tuning in general terms. Now, let's break this down so we understand what it means. Mass of a substance is going to be the volume times the density. So whether we're talking about the mass of gold or if we're talking about the mass of water, let's say it occupies the exact same amount of volume, that's going to be completely different densities. We know that if you pick up gold, let's say that's going to be in a one by one cube, or if you pick up water that would be in that same one by one cube, you'll find that they weigh completely different amounts, and that's due to the actual mass or the density differences. So the amount of volume that's taking up is the same, but the actual amount of, of, of molecules packed into that space is completely different. And that's what we need to pay attention to when we're working with the OEM ECU. So we're gonna have mass that we need to keep track of. So that's gonna be the fuel mass and the air mass. So when we're speaking of terms of mass and fuel mass, that's going to be the volume of fuel flowing into the engine, also taking into account the density of the fuel. So it's gonna be playing two, two factors and roles in what we deliver and actually inject into the engine for fuel. When we're looking at air mass, that's going to be a slice of air, just figure a volume of air that's coming into the engine, kind of slice it off, and looking at how many oxygen molecules are packed into that slice of air. So when we're looking at the volume of air entering your engine, we're not factoring in the density portion. The density is very important. As we go up in elevation, the density will change. If we go and change our temperature, ambient temperature changes from let's say 30 degrees, which we're gonna have a lot more oxygen molecules packed into the same amount of volume of air entering the motor, or if we go up to 120 degrees, that's gonna have a lot less oxygen molecules packed in there. Now it's gonna be affecting uh, the, the amount of air mass coming into the engine. Now as the air mass changes, we need to change the amount of fuel mass delivered so that we can hit the target air fuel. So again, that equation is going to be fuel mass is equal to air mass divided by target air fuel. So it's going to be a kind of a circular equation in nature. So as our air mass changes and we have a fixed target air fuel, the fuel mass will change. As our fuel mass changes, then we're going to find that it's going to balance out and hit that target air fuel. So it's going to be constantly just balancing that basic equation. Now there's a lot more that goes into the equation. We don't need to know that. For tuning purposes, we just need to know how it is going to be functioning in this ECU and the tables associated they are going to be playing a role in how everything's going to be calculated, how everything's going to be working so that when we're making our editing changes and doing our tuning, it's all going to fall in line and make sense. Now, let's start to take a look at how this is going to correlate to the ECU. So the air mass is going to be measured from the mass airflow sensor. So the stock configuration for a Mitsubishi Evo 8 or Evo 9 is going to be mass airflow based. Um, that's going to be taking a look at, again, registering the amount of air mass coming into the engine from the sensor, and then it's going to be processing that. We're going to have target air fuel tables. There's going to be two different tables, a high and a low octane. We'll get into that a little bit later in this video. Now, the table is going to be based on engine RPM and load. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.